everybody, it is Swing GM with X Trades, and today I'm be going over my weekend review. So the main thing I want to cover is my outlook on the markets and kind of how to prepare for the next three months. You know, we just had our quarterly options expiration day on Friday, and this is a good time to kind of game plan for the next three months and kind of see what will happen. So the first thing I'm gonna be looking at is spy, and I'm actually you know pretty bearish on the markets right now. We saw a big change of character candle here on uh, 9, 10, 21. As you could see, we had a nice, huge, big down day with volume, and we've seen continued volume, and we started actually moving sideways. If you look at almost all of these other corrections, they've been very steep V-shaped sort of corrections. If you go even all the way back to, you know, the beginning since, you know, the 2020 low, we've had very steep corrections to, you know, usually start off. You know, this time we're actually moving sideways. So this is a pretty big change of character. And you can even look all the way back, you know, before 2020. The corrections are usually steep. They're very uh, rarely start off in a sideways manner after the change of character candle. And we can, you know, give countless examples. See, we, you know, we usually start off going downwards and then we consolidate. We can even do go the same way back 2018. We start downwards. We consolidate for a little bit, but then continue downwards. It, it's very rare that we kind of see this sort of sideways movement. And when we do, it kind of signifies to me that there's a change in the, in the in, or a shift in the markets, and we kind of have to keep notice of that. The second thing is that we clear all these notes. The 50 SMA, you know, as of recently, has been a very good indication of, you know, kind of a lower Boilinger band for this rally. So as long as we hold the 50 SMA, we've been pretty good. But as you could see, really since October, uh, we really have not had much uh, follow through below the 50 SMA. And when we do get follow through below there, it almost always touches the 100 SMA. And from here, that would be a drop to around 430, the another, you know, 2%. We can even go back to, you know, prior 2020. Um, as you could see, when the 50 SMA holds, we usually, you know, continue a nice bullish rally. But when it breaks, we usually, you know, attempt to go for that 100 SMA. And there's, you know, plenty of examples of this. Also, we start to have the moving averages, the 8 and the 20 SMA, starting to roll over. As you could see for a lot of these, you know, quicker, steeper V bottom corrections, we don't see those moving averages cross over. So that's another sign. Um, the third thing is there's a catalyst and there's a reason to move the markets down. We've had the situation in China with one of the major real estate companies collapsing. This would be kind of the equivalent of the Lehman Brothers situation um, happening in America. And we also have the options expiration to kind of allow these market movers to reposition themselves in preparation for this downside. Uh, for example, we saw a similar thing in the steel sector around March. If you look at stocks like NUE, uh, if I turn back my notes, you could see Look, you know, NUE, STLD, these are really very, very much above average volume readings that you would see maybe once a year, uh, maybe twice a year. And it kind of shows you that the market movers are ready to kind of reposition themselves in a way to allow for upside. So we're kind of seeing that similar action occur in the SPY as well. So I think there's some decent chance we at least test 431, but, you know, there's very good support down here at 423. If the markets do decide to kind of fake us out and move upwards, the stocks I'd be targeting is, you know, Dash, um, stocks like Apple, um, you know, sectors like, you know, CLOU. And if we move over to the heat map, we can kind of see um, a large variety of leading sectors. For example, coal, if you look at something like, uh, you know, BTU, see that this is a stock I'd rather buy. Um, we're pretty, it looks like a very sharp pullback, but it, relative to, you know, these other pullbacks, you know, when a stock rallies this much, you're going to see 30% pullbacks instead of your usual 5 to 10% through the spine. So I think a 1407 is a very, very good support level. If we hit it, I think it's a pretty low risk opportunity. We can look at sectors like aluminum, even sectors like, um, you know, gambling has been pretty strong relative to the past, you know, month or two. So this is a very good free tool to kind of give you leading sectors that, you know, might outperform the market if we do see another rally. Another tool you can use is looking at FFTY. This is the IBD ETF and um, stocks within this ETF are in examples like UPST. And we could take a further look of its holdings, stocks like Task. These stocks are just very, very much outperforming the market. Uh, DLO, you know, Zim, uh, even really like stocks like ZS, these continuously outperform the market and they're going to be a lot safer in my opinion to kind of find the next set of these, even something like Crocs. 
than you know looking in the industrial sector something like xle xlf these are the sectors you're going to want to short if we do see that downside i'm leaning towards that you kind of want to see stocks that have double topped have references to go to the downside have been lagging the market for kind of the past five to six months these are going to be a lot easier in my opinion to short than these leadership stocks a lot of times when we do see these corrections we could see these kind of you know sort of outperform or kind of start moving sideways like we see here with upst instead of moving downwards as for example you saw spy kind of move downwards um, you know around two percent uh, but upst has actually risen around 16 percent from the bottom of this range so these are examples of stocks outperforming and this is where your money's going to want to be if we do see that upwards move i'm just playing the levels and you can usually a quick way to identify these stocks is that they continuously hold the 8 sma so stocks like uh, lows uh, during this kind of rally you know cost you know continuously holds the 8 sma you know bj's very very similar look here these stocks are you know leading the markets and where my money wants to be other sectors i like is uranium i'm very very high in uranium i think it's a little overextended here but i do see a lot of long-term potential i think bnn is at least going to two dollars that's been my uh, call out for a long time now uh stocks like uec plaf these are great stocks within the sector that you know show leadership that i you know personally own that i think will have continued upside i've been averaging up on these names because i see this pullback as an opportunity to kind of further invest in these names at a discount um, i would not recommend really going for these stocks right now if you don't already have a position um, i would try to wait for maybe a 20 sma retest ideally we see a little consolidation while the market's correct 20 sma catches up and then these stocks rally another 20 30 percent if you're looking for more value-based names i like gdx here as long as it holds this yellow line of 3064 uh, if we if we you know tr uh, put the fibs on we could see that uh, this uh this is a pretty good fib level here and it's been a very long-term support and resistance it was a resistance for a long time and now we're back testing this area with uh good support we're also forming a triple bottom here and we did form a nice lower wick so as long as we hold this i'm pretty uh, bullish if we do see a breakdown though i think it is a pretty good short candidate especially if spy continues to see downside if we get follow through below this 50 sma uh, i would think that gdx is a good candidate to short so that's kind of my quick thoughts and summary on the market to do a quick recap if we see follow through down from the 50 sma i would be bearish and looking for those double top reference top setups if we do turn around here and end up being bullish i'd be looking at the leaders ffty we can look at the heat map on wyckoff.com these should give you a good understanding of the stocks that most likely will lead the market um, if we look at qqq quickly uh, 3075 breaks this is a very good support level here 369 it lines up with a 50 sma and is old resistance um, from there though the next really good support level is 342 and that's around a seven percent correction um, again we could see the same concept here instead of moving downwards we've kind of had more of a flat or distribution range forming as you could see a lot of these other corrections they usually start with a pretty steep correction we can go all the way back to you know august of 2020 same sort of concept a lot of the corrections ended up starting with steep uh downwards uh corrections same thing here in may could even say the same thing here in august of 2019 these are usually the typical characteristics you see in these corrections so when we see price action differing from the norm these are things you should be taking notes on and you know keeping an eye on and really just playing the levels and have a game plan like i kind of just explained with this video that's kind of what i'm looking at the last thing i quickly forgot to cover is the dj20 these are the transports and usually um or an indication that you know downside is coming when these stocks usually start lagging the markets uh, we usually do see some sort of correction and these kind of have been lagging since may and this is a very very key support level here with the year to date anchored vwap in purple the yellow support level here and the yellow sma signifying the 200 simple moving average a break of this support would be pretty bearish i think we would at least test 13 676 if not we're definitely going to go below 13,000, most likely uh, within this purple rectangle so those are kind of my thoughts for uh, the markets i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys have learned and good luck in the next trading week